So let's get into the first topic that is to understand what is pricing. Well, pricing may be defined as the exchange of goods and services in terms of money. It is the only revenue generating element amongst the other four P's that is between the product, promotion and place. The rest all of them being the cost centers. However, the other P's of marketing will contribute to the decreasing price elasticity and so enable price increases to drive greater revenue and profits. Having said that, let's understand what is the importance of pricing. Well, the first one, price of a product influences the price paid for the factors of production. Obviously, when we are setting up price, we need to take into account all the costing that we have incurred for the various factors of production, namely the men, machine, material, management and any kind of raw materials. Second being, price are important economic regulators in the sense that pricing directly affects the inflation and the boom and recession in the market. If the price of a product or the price in the market tends to increase, inflation tends to set in, wherein the purchasing power of people goes down and the overall market tends to go for recession. Hence, pricing is a very important economic regulator and companies have to make sure that their prices are not fluctuating for the very same reason. Third being, obviously primary source of revenue for a company is pricing. Pricing is the only factor of the other piece as already said which actually generates the money or brings in the money which has already been incurred in all the other three P's that is in developing of the product, in the promotion strategies and in using the distribution strategies to make sure that the product reaches the right consumer. Finally, demand for a product directly depends on the price. Well, not directly, it has an inverse relationship. That is, higher the price, lower would be the demand and vice versa. Though there are exceptions wherein the prices are set higher so as to maintain some kind of demand. Though those are the exceptional cases, in a normal regular scenario, demand and prices are inversely related to each other. And finally, pricing directly affects the competitive position and the market share of a company in the sense that setting the right price and choosing the right pricing strategy for your company can ensure you to win the market share of the maximum and enjoy the competitive position in comparison to the other competitors. Having said that, let's understand what are the key objectives of pricing. Well, the first one is to make sure you get a return on investment on all your entire other cost. That is, the pricing has to include all the costs which have been incurred in development of the product, in the promotion strategies and in the distribution strategies. It has to be profitable in the sense that the entire investment is covered and gives us a fair share of return. Second, it should help us to capture a decent amount of market that is give us a market share. Third, it should help to meet or at least prevent competition. That is the pricing which is set should not be that low that we do not meet our profits. Rather, it should not even be that high that we do not get any market share and most of our buyers or consumers go to our or move to our competitors products. Next, profit maximization is the first objective or aim of any pricing policy that is to ensure that maximum profits come to the company. Next, making sure price stability because price fluctuation is very risky, creates a lot of chaos and confusion in the market. Even the marketers, the bankers, the insurances are not ready to play in or come in and be a part of a market wherein the price is not stable. Price stability hence is very important and one of the key objectives of pricing. We have to make sure that once a price is set, it remains same or stable for at least a stable amount of period of time and do not change in every regular intervals. The next being key objective of prying is to make sure to take care of the customer's ability to pay. No matter if your cost of productions are very high and you set your pricing very high and the customer does not have the purchasing power or the ability to buy your product, the entire whole system and the business will fall for a toss over here. And finally, to take care of the resource mobilization and the expansion of the firm is another key objective of pricing.